Hello, in this video I am going to show you how you can replace the default list style in an unordered list in a Divi text module. I'm going to show you two solutions for this. In the first one we are going to use the Divi icon sets and in the second option we are going to use font or some icons. So before we can do that, obviously we are going to need an unordered list. So I have an empty page here. Let's jump in the Visual Builder. Let's start building a new section and let's just, uh, let's select this row structure. Here in the first column, I want to upload an image. Let's find something. Okay, let's, let's use this image. Let's download it. Let's upload the image here. Select the image module. Okay, insert and for the row section, let's add the background color. Let's, um, let's remove the top and bottom padding. Okay, here let's add the text module. Let's make this an age one. Let's add some styling. Let's age one. Let's add another text module. And here we will just add some list items. Okay, let's just save it. So now we have a nice looking section and we also have some unordered list. Let's, uh, let's add a little bit of styling to this uh, list. So we need to go to the text options and we need to select the unordered list tab from here. And let's just make the text size to 16. Let's, uh, let's increase the line height to 1.6 maybe. And, uh, and let's increase the indent. Okay, 20 pixels is enough. Let's save it. So we have the basic, basic settings uh, sorted out. Now we need to figure out how to add the icons instead of these uh, bullets. So by default, Divi doesn't have any options to add icons uh, instead of the default bullet list type for these uh, unordered lists. So we need to do some, some custom CSS coding. So let's try to do this with the Divi icons first. We need to go back to this uh, text module and go to advanced and CSS ID and classes. And here we need to add a custom CSS class. That's how we will be able to access this unordered list from our CSS. So let's just add the class name. You can call this any way you want. Click Save. So basically we can now exit the Visual Builder. First of all, we need to remove these bullets. So let's go to the admin, DV theme options, scroll down to the bottom and here let's type dot benefits URL. So we target the unordered list and let's set the list style to none. Click save changes and this should remove the bullets from here. So let's refresh the page. So now we got rid of the bullets. So now we need to add the icon before each list item. So for this we can use a before pseudo element. If you are not familiar with it in CSS a pseudo element is a keyword 
add it to a selector that lets you style a specific part of the selected element. But uh, let's just do that and you see what I mean. Uh, before we go, I just want to show you that if we I just want to show you that if we inspect this element, so here we have the unordered list and here this is the module container and here you can see our custom CSS class. So that's how we can we can target this this unordered list. So we target the benefits class and within the benefits class the unordered list. Okay, so let's go back to our CSS and let's type benefits and inside the unordered list I want to target the list items and here we use the before pseudo element So here I need to add a content property and this is going to be the icon code. And here we need a backslash and the code of the icon. So you are probably asking the question where I'm getting this. Here on this page, I will leave a link to it in the description, you can find if you scroll down, you can find a list of the available DV icons and their corresponding Unicode. And uh, this is what we need. So basically here I am using, I am using this check mark. And if you see, I am using the 4E, which is the last part of the code. So we don't need the whole code. This is very important. So you don't 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 add this uh, ampersand and and pound symbol and x. All you need is the code after the x. Okay. You don't you don't even need the uh, semi semicolon. So the main thing is you need a backslash and the last two characters of the code. We also need to define the font family. In this case, the font family is called ET modules. Let's just save it and let's just see if uh, we have any changes on the front end. Let's refresh. So now we have the icon displayed next to the list item. Okay, so basically this is it. This is this is what, what you need to do to change the, the default bullets to, to an icon but we can add some additional styling to make it a little bit uh, nicer. So for example, we can add color. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's, uh, it's green. We can change the font size. 15 pixels is enough. We can also add some margin right so it's not too close to the text. Maybe five pixels enough. Okay, so now it looks much better. Uh, maybe we could add vertical line middle. And if I refresh, now it's much better. So basically, this is it. Now we can uh, we can try to do the same thing with Font Awesome. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more complicated, and I'm going to show you why. The DV icons are okay, but the icon set doesn't have too many icons in it. If you need more icons, you need to use an icon set like Font Awesome, for example. Adding font, font awesome is basically a similar process. So let, let's go to the font awesome website first. Uh, 
Let's search for an icon. Okay, I think this is going to be going to be fine for us. And here you can see the Unicode of the icon. So let's just copy it. Let's go back here and let's add the new code. And uh, we also need to change the font family to font awesome. We can leave the color like this. Font size, we don't really need this here. Let's just save the changes and let's refresh the site. And it's not working. So it doesn't work because by default, Divi doesn't pull in the font awesome CSS, which is necessary to load the icons, to display the icons. So what we can do is we can go to Google and search for font awesome CDN. Let's select this first result. And from here, let's click the copy link tag and go back to DV options, integration, and in the head section, let's add this, paste this code and click save changes. And if I refresh the page, now I have the icon. However, it's not really the best way to do that because uh, this way, this CSS, the CSS code is used on all your pages, even on pages where you don't use any font or some icon. And this is not uh, a very efficient way to, to do this. You need to use as less resources as possible. So let's, uh, let's remove this. Uh, let's see if the changes and if I refresh the page, it should disappear. Yeah. Uh, let's go back and let's, uh, let's add the plugin. Uh, let's search for code snippet and let's install this first, first result. Click activate. And this is the plugin. Click add snippet and from here, add your custom code. Let's just add the name, font awesome. Here we need to add the code that we want to add. Can leave everything as it is, uh, but we need to come here down there and use conditional logic. So I want to show this code if the page URL is equal to this URL. Okay, so let's uh, save the snippet. Make sure it's active. And if I refresh this page, we should see the icons. And voila, the icons are there. And if you do it like this, we can make sure that this CSS, this uh, font awesome CSS, is only used on pages where we actually use font awesome icons. That's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.